What's cooking, Gerilla? Oh, hey! Here at the IFB, we're making pancakes for dinner. It's the middle of Raqqa, the capital of the Caliphate. We're making a revolution. It's breakfast for dinner. Hi, I am Alexis Dalumis, and I'm the director of the documentary film Belki Sibir, a journey through the Syrian war and the Rojava revolution. I've spent a year and a half in northern Syria fighting against ISIS as a volunteer soldier. Throughout this time, I was also gathering varied footage for the purpose of the documentary. Now, I have returned with hundreds of hours of material that requires hundreds of hours of highly skilled professional labor. Instead of looking for sponsors, buyers, etc., we are running this crowdfunding campaign because this film is not for sale as a commodity. It will be released freely accessible on the internet. <laughs> Στη Μέση Ανατολή. There are around 10.000 women fighters here. You can see the possibility with Rojava. For example, there is no state, but it works. This isn't an anarchist revolution. It's also not a marxist leninist revolution. There are elements of both and elements of neither. They're far closer to being anarchists than being Stalinists, like, despite what some people may say. Proto-socialist, I think it's similar to the transitionary periods between what you call a democratic or bourgeois revolution and socialist revolution. Même si c'est pas une finalité, même si c'est pas l'idéo que je défends moi-même, c'est ce qu'il y a de plus avancé et c'est ce qu'il y a de plus avantageux actuellement pour les peuples de Syrie. The alternative is Assad or ISIS. Like... Parce que tous les acteurs géopolitiques qu'on peut trouver dans la région, il n'y en a pas un qui soit meilleur que la YPG. Il n'y a pas une solution, une proposition politique, un projet politique qui surpasse le Rojava. There's three pillars of, of the revolution: autonomy, the women's liberation, and the social ecology. To be a socialist of any stripe, you have to be an internationalist. ISIS reflection of fascism. The struggle against Daesh has been an anti-fascist struggle. I think anti-fascism is an important reason why lots of people are here, and me included. For me, it was more about coming here to fight fascism hand to hand, you know? I just started like shooting my Kalashnikov at like everything I saw. It was all very post-apocalyptic steampunk-esque, like Mad Max shit. Dash. I hate cleaning up after a war. If I had the chance to do it again, I'm pretty sure that I would still do it again. Coming to Rojava was like a kind of going to a place to find hope. Let's call that like this. And I must say, I found it. <laughs>